Hello everyone and welcome to Stamping with Ian. You can find me on my blog stampingwithian.blogspot.co.uk on social media just do a search for Stamping with Ian. Quick tip today we're going to look at uh, resizing and watermarking a card for use uh, on the internet, you know, a Facebook post or a blog post, something like that. When you take a photograph and it comes into uh, photos, it's normally quite large, you know, between one and two megabytes. You don't want to be uploading something that big, it's not necessary. Uh, you need to shrink it, which will reduce the file size, which means it will upload quicker and it will still look lovely. So what we're going to do, I've got a picture here which I've not watermarked yet or resized. I'm just going to click on it click on it, and then drag just onto the desktop there. And you'll see a little plus sign has appeared. There you go. Yeah, let go. And that's now on my desktop. I've clicked on it once just to highlight it. I'm now going to click on it twice. This will open it up in a, in a program called Preview. Now, Preview up here and Photos here are both free. They are both included with the Macintosh operating system. You don't need to buy anything. So, our first job is to make this image a little smaller. If I go to uh, actual size, here we go, you can see it's massive. <laughs> uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to shrink it. So this is really easy. Go to tools here and then just go down to adjust size. Click once this gives you the current size of the image and its current size that's taking up on your hard drive. This padlock here tells us that these two figures are linked. This will keep the aspect ratio as it should be and you only need to alter one figure. The figure we're going to alter is the width which is highlighted already for us and I'm going to type uh, 10, 24, and you'll see that the, the height is adjusted automatically. Now, look at the difference in file size. It was 1.8 megabytes, it's now 234k, uh, which is 31% of the original image. So, click on OK, and there we go. Now, we're going to add some text. Right. right, adding text. This is this is step two. Here, text box icon. Click it once, and in the middle of your image, you have a text box with the word text. Click once to highlight the text. Then type what you want in the box. I use my uh, blog name, my blog web address and the copyright information for stamping up because these are stamping up images. So we'll do the blog which is stamping with Ian dot blogspot dot co dot uk press return or enter to get a new line. You need the copyright symbol now, which on a Mac uses the key combination option G, like that. Then type stamping up. Stamping apostrophe space up exclamation mark. Right, we can't really see it there, so we're going to move it. You see there, the cursor has changed into a hand. Click once and hold, and then drag to a corner, like that. 
The text isn't very visible, so I think we're going to darken it a bit. To do that, back up to the menu bar here, and you'll see there text style. Click once. That gives us the, the font we're using, the font size, and the color. Click once on the color, and I'm going to go with black. And there it has changed. I'm going to reduce the, the point size of the font down to about 12. That's fine. And then back in the text box here, just drag that to where it's visible, like that. Save the image. So file. Save. And there you have it. An image reduced in size and watermarked, ready for use on the internet. This has been Stamping Within. Thank you so much for watching me uh, today. I hope this has been useful and I'll see you all again soon. Bye now.